Hello, it's time for another Dollar Tree haul. Let's get started. So this is my third video and I still have to show you some stuff dealing with the um, this party we're having for my father. So I left a couple of things that I told y'all about. There is some more bubble gum. And my, my father really loves uh, the bubble gum. I'm going back to get the bubble gum that I can put in my bubble gum machine in my Hello Kitty. And, uh, and then we're going to put it in, in this bowl. Put them, take it out of this and put it around the, um, I showed you in a previous video the, a plastic jar that had some bubble gum in it. And so we're going to put that in here and then put the bubble gum, the rest of the pieces around the bubble gum. So that's that. Now let me get started on my son's school supplies that I purchased at. I believe at Walmart as well as as well as Dollar Tree. So um, here's one. This is a blue and a green spiral notebook. And I think I bought these at Walmart because they were cheap. Uh, they were like seventeen cents. And most of his stuff I bought probably about maybe a month ago because I knew that it was going to go fast. So, and then he had to have these different colored folders. So he needed a blue one, a red one, a yellow one. A green one and and it it just has the pockets in it and doesn't have no prongs in it so those were but these actually you can stick the, these in it has three holes in them and you can stick it in your notebook if you like I didn't realize that and so then I picked up this composition book for him. Uh, his school wanted one of those. And uh, I bought two more of these notebooks. Sorry, uh, my phone is ringing, but I already know who it is, so they'll be all right. And then this one is a red one. And I wanted this for myself. It is a composition protector. And I just thought it looked it so cute. So, And then it has, like, you can put other stuff in it. So maybe next year I'll buy my son one. I'm not for sure if he will need one. And some of this stuff you may have already seen. I bought these um, 100 craft sticks. I'm just um, showing them because the, I'm getting ready to start getting his school supplies. Even though together in his book bag, even though he don't go to school for another, I think, two weeks and this is uh, I needed another hot glue gun so I purchased this it's a mini size from Walmart and I know y'all have seen these I believe this is eight counts of glue sticks and we needed some in our house because 
he's always, my son always has some project he's doing or I'm doing some type of craft. And I needed this um, jumbo size, jumbo size um, mark, permanent marker. And it's um, double size, so um, it's two sides. And you can see it on the back. Then I bought the dry erase markers for him to paint the school. I don't know if that was on the list or not. I believe it was. So I purchased these for the dollar store. And then he needed some colored pencils. Um, so I bought these. Uh, we bought these at, at Walmart. And then 12 in a pack. And he needed some pencils. And I, I don't know, I think they wanted 12 or something like that. They wanted two packs of pencils, but it didn't say how many they wanted in the pack. So I bought like four of them and eight come in there. And by the time, even though I purchased most of his stuff like a month ago, um, most of the stuff was already gone. So, it was like, and school wasn't supposed to start for a whole nother, like, another two or three weeks for most of the kids in Atlanta. So, I bought these. This is, an, oh, these are the markers. They wanted them to have the small markers as well as the big markers. And I could only find, I think, the smaller ones in the Crayola. So I bought those and then the washable markers and the big ones. And I had to put all this in his book bag. And they wanted them to have a pink eraser. So... They want the kids to have a lot of stuff in there. And I don't remember if they asked for, I know they asked for crayon, but I don't know if they wanted the 16 pack, but I might have to look at the list again. So I bought this. And then I bought a 24 pack. I really get crazy when I, we go to the, uh, when it's back to school time because I love all the school supplies and stuff. And so this says last 35% longer, preferred by teachers. So, about that. And they wanted him to have a, have a pencil case. I don't know if they wanted this type, but. They didn't say, so I bought that, a blue one. And I thought this would be cool for him during the school time. So I bought this um, Cars um, sandwich bags. And trying to hurry up. So I picked up some scissors. And it has the little guard thing. I don't know if he can take these to school or not. But they're great for at home. And then I bought myself some pencils at um, five and below. And these are, um, they're like, they're not destructible pencils but they have like the lead in them and then I bought I don't know why I bought two things so maybe one to go to school but I bought um, the um, 
another package of um, scissors for him. And I purchased I like another thing of markers. And this is like a 10, 10 pack. I want that. Some more crayons. We have a lot of crayons. We're gonna need it during the school year anyway. And then another thing of of markers. And I bought some more scissors. So I don't know. And so and then I'm trying to see what I bought him this. Fun facts, Ripley's Believe It or Not, Kids, and Silly Stories. And so it just has every eyelash lasts for approximately 75 days before it falls out. So let's do some of the stuff it has in there. And I also bought myself this. Um... And I think I'm gonna put it in that mud room. I have to see where my husband <laughs> will want to see it. Because uh, he's not too crazy about it. So it might go in the mud room. All right. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you next in the next video.